Hey everybody, Mac here for OCR Kings, and I'm going to do a quick sit rep of the Boston Savage Race, which I just completed. I did both the uh, the full Savage Race and the Blitz, the shorter one, and uh, I had a great time. I have to tell you though, I am smoked. All right, I'm not going to lie, I am I am smoked. Uh, this was perhaps the muddiest course that I have ever encountered. Uh, the tail part of hurricane or tropical storm, depending on where you were from. Elsa came through and dumped two inches of rain in this location, and it just made a huge soupy mess. Okay, this is also on a farm, so I say mud loosely. Um, you know, there is a mud-like substance all over the place with a particular aroma, which might or might not be mud. I'll have to uh, use your imagination. If you were here today, you'll know exactly what I was talking about. Um, luckily, showers were provided at the end, which I took advantage of. So, absolutely perfect. Okay, some new obstacles and some really, really cool ones. This uh, like sort of basketball thing with a 40-pound ball that you had to put through the hole. It was like cornhole. You would think, ah, it's silly. Yeah, it was actually harder than it looked. And that was, that was kind of fun. Um, took me a couple of tries on the first pass. So uh, I did better on Wheel World. I completed that, whereas uh, I have some you know difficulty in the past. I was happy with that. Um, but that, that the mud just zapped, zapped my calves. They're kind of cramping up right now as I speak. So um, the, uh, they're, uh, monkey bars they have this sawtooth thing that's their typical um, obstacle that you see at Savage Race all the time it was so muddy they couldn't get equipment in here to dig it out to make like a water trench underneath so it was over dry land interesting same thing with wheel world never seen that before uh, a new favorite was their battering ram or something it's you have, I don't know you have, you'll see it in the footage when I put it together uh, it's this slidey thing it's like a rig you have to slide and then reach out to these like looks like a mop like these little strands of rope and you go from one to the other and ring the bell really cool i like that one that was uh that was a lot of fun one or two ones eh, yeah you'll you'll see them you'll uh you'll get a sense they were they were meh. um not happy with this savage rig at the end Okay, I was looking forward to doing the big blue wedge piece of cheese. So we got some other footage of people c completing that one, not yours truly. So, you know, full disclosure here. Speaking of super muddy, I can see there's mud still on the lens. So I have no idea what this is going to look like. Probably pretty terrible. There was a point, too, where it just rained out of nowhere. Like this kind of terretic uh, weather that we had. It was two and a half miles into the first lap, and the skies just opened up. You'll see that in the footage, too. It was torrential. Uh, best, well, course was good, it was flat, it was enjoyable, the obstacles were cool, people were very, very cool, I'll come back here anytime. Drive is pretty extensive though for us, it's two and a half hours, it's not like around the corner, but worth it. But also worth it, um, look at this stuff, okay? So I completed, uh, we'll call it Savage Race proper, this was uh, 6.2 miles, it was 10k. Alright, pretty cool metal, you can see. It should have the date 2021, the best obstacles, and the perfect distance. Okay. You could argue that fact. Maybe. I don't know. Definitely very, very good. Worth the while. Okay? That was number one. Metal looks great. Then I did the short one, the Blitz. That was 3.1 miles, 5K. Cool. It has the year. It says go hard, go fast, get blitzed. Cool. I would definitely do this one again, but if you're going to make the commitment, definitely do the longer one first. And if between the two, definitely do the longer one above the shorter one. Both fun, get more obstacles. 27 obstacles with this one, 17 with that one. Okay? But if you do both, all right, or you complete one of each or something in a calendar year, you qualify. Look at this thing. You qualify for the Savage Race Syndicate. This thing is awesome, dude. Check this out. Okay, it's got a little spinner in the middle. All right. Savage Race Syndicate. Hashtag Let's Get Savage right there. This thing is a monster. Okay, really cool. Okay, I cannot say that enough. 
please know that I'm being sincere. This thing is awesome. It says on the back, the best obstacles, the perfect distance. Well, if you do both, you're going to come home with two medals, one for each, and then you're going to come away with this thing too. It is a monster and really, really cool. I can't wait to put this one up. The, um, yeah, compared to my face, all right, it's getting up there, it's pretty big, all right? So 2021, uh, only for repeat savages, hashtag let's get savage. That's what the uh, ribbon says, and it says savage syndicate right here. And right, again, look at the size of this thing. Not only that, I got... This is cool. I think as you do more of these, you get more of these, okay? These are pins that go along with the ribbon. Okay, that's for the long one. That's for the short one. All right. So you got some other folks over here who, um, you know, also have done the, the long distance. And the other thing I got to tell you is the chore getting out of my clothes. And it's so muddy, you got to like cramp up while you're taking the stuff off. So I got this, and this, and this, and these. <laughs> Not a bad day's work, okay? So uh, Savage Race Boston is in a town called Barry, Barry, Massachusetts. I never get that right, B-A-R-R-E. All right, big up to this town, big up to this location, big up to Savage Race. Had a great time. Check for the video footage coming soon. Okay. All right. So, thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Mac for OCR Kings, reminding you, as always, train hard, have fun.